watch out if you ignite him He's a road ahead of full prophecy To be the greatest beast the world has ever seen I feed him every day like the bones clean I feed him all the hate and he grows me And he gets caught through a big piss off quick And if you cross him you might drop dead Metaphorically of course said to live this war Never getting bored loves the blood and gore Always wanting more feed him from the source and What's up guys welcome back to Mikey Yourself In this week's video we're gonna do a review Of a couple of add-ons we did To our king pack On the 2017 World Glide Let's take a look at them Alright guys, so if you've been following, you know we added the brake light bar deal here to our Turo Pack. And it's it's worked great. It does exactly what we wanted to do. I like the way it sits. Um, being the smoked out color matches all of my other lenses, so that works out perfectly. And I added in two antennas. Now I know some folks are kind of adamantly against antennas. They want to hide it. I get all that, totally understand. Um, I do, like I said, listen to the radio from time to time. So it was really important to me that I have antennas. And for this setup with their wiring harness, and I would recommend you watch the original video because I talk a lot about the harness, but in this setup, one antenna is for the radio and the other one I think is for your wide band, which I don't, that I don't use. So that said, what I decided to do was I just ran a wire from this point and tied it to this one. So I, I doubled up my antenna power. And I will say, it actually made a big difference. I was pretty surprised. Uh, I tried running it with just running the single antenna. And even with the long whip antenna, this setup here beats that out. So um, if you're looking to do the antennas associated to this, I 100% recommend doing it both right that's that's going to give you the best connectivity um the other things like i said is making sure uh in the original video uh the the screws that came with it they they were terrible they didn't work out too well um so you definitely want to use something smaller so you may have to run to the uh um hardware store or whatever but you want to make sure you right use the right uh screws to mount that thing in so again that one I'll win so far so good we'll just have to see how long the leds last and if any of them go out and when that does happen just like i did with my, with my saddle bags i'll bring that to you so that way you know let's talk about the accent lights again another plus now the one thing that i will say i'm not disappointed i uh, i i just like the idea of having it flash uh if you're doing the turn signal deal and unfortunately these ones that I installed, it's just a running light. So it doesn't get brighter when you break. Um, it doesn't blink when you turn, it just stays on. So it's truly a side marker, which, you know, again, I'm, my goal was to increase visibility and that does that. So, you know, mission accomplished there. Um, I believe they do make them with the uh, blinking, the flashing, but I don't believe TCMT, who is the creator of these ones, uh, sells those so if you're looking for the ones that blink you're gonna probably have to look towards like the bigger name zero and and uh maybe eagle lights or somebody like that has that stuff so unfortunately that's the only downside to this what i did love is the installation of the process the installation process was super super easy because you didn't have to drill a single hole you literally just route your wire through screw it down and plug it into the harness if you bought it for the tcmt king pack all right let's talk about one of my favorite things speakers i love me some sound and i got the speaker pods for the king pack just because i wanted to be able to have that sound coming from behind me but also for my passengers when my wife writes she can hear the music as well um now the mounting of that went really well uh I, as i mentioned time's gonna tell as far as like how durable this the vinyl or leather or whatever you want to call that is i currently am running the stock um harley davidson speakers in here and the reason i'm doing that is because the mounting depth is very shallow so these are 6.5 speakers and the mounting depth is literally about two inches it, there's not a whole lot to play with and as you get closer to the edges so in the center, you get a nice deep center, but as you get closer, it gets even more shallow, especially on this left, this left side. So that said, just be aware 
of what speaker you're purchasing to put in these things because you might not have the space. Now they do sell spacers and I think they're, I, I don't think I sound anything bigger than one inch um, that you can add in, right? So that's, it's just an aftermarket thing. Somebody just made some spacer, spacer rings and that will give you an additional inch for your mounting depth. But again, at the end of the day, before you buy those speakers, whatever it is you're buying, make sure you check what that depth is. So that way you get speakers that fit in your pods. All right, guys, so this is a pretty short one. Luckily for me, three wins um, with these items. And again, as I've shown you guys in the past, I've, I've had fails, right? Like they don't make a review because they usually don't get that far. Um, but in this case, we had three wins. Um, the, the brake light run bar on the back of the team, the King pack is great. I love it. I love the look of it. It works. Um, I think it should fit better, but it, it, we got it to fit once we got the right screws in place for the side marker lights. They're doing their job. Uh, do I wish that they did the blink function? Like I said, yes, I did. Um, I think that would be great, but for the price, you really can't beat it. They're dirt cheap. So hmm, get what you pay for, right? Time will tell as far as how those lights endure over time and we'll see how that goes and i'll bring that to you if they do fail the last thing is those speaker pods like i said mounting depth mounting mounting depth mounting depth that's going to be the most important part of that make sure you check that before you buy any speakers because i would hate for you to go out and buy speakers and then they don't fit it can be very frustrating right especially if you have to go through a return process um, so you want to look for something that has like a two inch or very shallow mounting depth um, and then if you are struggling to find that you can look on Amazon they sell the one inch spacer rings that you can install on there now just keep in mind by putting those rings on that brings it closer to the um, the waist of your passenger so that could minimize the amount of comfort that they had um, or that they have the other cool thing is the I guess I don't know what to say, like basically the sound that they produce is, is actually really, really good. I, I, I don't hear any resignation, resonation from it, so it's not like vibrating or sounding really weird. I do have the porch drilled out, so they essentially poured out into the king pack itself, and that probably gives it a little bit more depth to the sound. But as I mentioned in a lot of my videos, these are 6.5s. The best you're going to get out of them is mid-bass. You're not going to get anything loud thumping. You want that, you're going to have to go way bigger than a 6.5. You're looking at minimum 8. I would recommend probably a 10 um, and something that you're going to put in your saddlebag or in the tour pack itself. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video brought you some value. If it did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscription button. I'd love to have you as a member of our community, provide some feedback. We're always looking to try to help each other out. So whatever input you can provide, maybe some experience you've seen, or if you have questions, drop them in the comments. We're all here to help one another. Um, and until my next video does post, I hope to see you in the wind.